Let's talk about ceramic tile and porcelain tile grout cleaning. The main problem with ceramic and porcelain tile isn't the surface because that's a lifetime finish and you're not supposed to put anything on it except just mop it with a neutral cleaner. So that said, you've got dirty grout lines and you need to get them clean. The pH cleaner is for dirty grout lines, uh, oily, greasy dirt from mechanic shops, uh, kitchens, um, anywhere where there's food being prepared, you would use the pH product. The acid product is used in bathrooms and also in offices. Now you gotta be careful, you do not put muriatic or sulfuric acid on tile and grout because the acid will damage the surface of the tile permanently. And once you've done that, you're in bad shape because you're not supposed to and you can't put any sealer on top of the tile and grout because the sealer will not adhere to the porcelain or the ceramic surface. So if you got a problem with dirty grout, you can use a grout brush. You put it on a long stick, you apply your chemical and you scrub with a grout brush. You rinse up with a mop and then um, fresh water and you do it again. Here's the smaller one, it's brass, designed to not damage the surface of the tile. Here's another one, it's stainless steel. So when you're cleaning uh, the grout lines, you apply the chemical, you scrub the grout lines and you rinse. Uh, a lot of homeowners use the Hoover vacuum. You fill it up with water, fresh water, and it sucks up the dirty solution of grease and uh, cleaner and also puts down fresh water so you don't have dirty water pooling in the grout line to cause rapid resoiling. So remember, um, if you're going to clean tile and grout, the problem isn't the surface of the tile and grout usually, unless somebody put a sealer on there and they're not supposed to do that. It will not adhere, it will peel up, it will do crazy things. So never let anybody put a sealer on the surface of your ceramic tile or your porcelain tile. Thank you.